Here's one thing that can really help when you get a new project manager, and that is to give them a document that describes your working style and your strengths and weaknesses. I'm here in downtown Chicago. I'm visiting my parents in Chicago for the week. You can see these two buildings behind me that my team lead that was on my previous team at XWP really likes. And let's talk about something that can really help. I've given my new project managers when I was on a team at XWP a document that describes the way I like to work and my strengths and weaknesses to let them kind of get to know me. Now, this doesn't mean that that's definitely how we're going to work, but it helps set the stage for like, what they can kind of expect in working with me. And of course, I'll have to adapt to working with them as it's a two-way street, but I found it to be really helpful to kind of share something about me, my backgrounds and my goals as well. And it helps to begin your working relationship really well. Here's the document I'd like to share with project managers. At the top is probably the most relevant section to them, my communication style. You can see here I note that I prefer asynchronous communication when possible, especially in items like status reports. And then I have some examples so they can see these are really detailed so they can see the benefit to them that they'll get. And I mentioned that I do like video conferences when there is a benefit to them. So I try to mention the benefits to them, not just that I don't want to meet in real video chats, that there's another side to it, that there's good documentation on this. And then below that, I detail my coding practices. And then something that I think is pretty relevant to them is that I take estimates very seriously. So they'll know that if they ask me for an estimate on something, I'm probably going to ask for a little bit of time if I'm not very familiar with it. So I might ask for time, as it says here, to be sure that I'm accurate. Maybe I'll need 15 minutes, an hour, depending on the issue or a ticket schedule, just kind of logistics. And I note my specialty here and that I'm mainly a back-end developer. I whited out some areas here that are private to XWP and here are some of my XWP projects. I whited out some projects here just for privacy, but there's no secret about the Ant for WordPress plugin. That's a public repo. And you can see my history before XWP in case they ask where I worked before XWP, but that's usually a nice conversation point. So I was a musician before working at XWP. Now, the exact document that you share with your project manager will depend on the context. If you just started a job, there's a pretty good chance that you talked about several of these items already. And maybe you've talked with them over these items with your project manager. So maybe they won't be as relevant to include in this document. But let's say you're staying in your same company and you're just joining a new project with a new project manager. This could be really relevant just to show them the way that you work. Also, like I mentioned before, this isn't a guarantee that this is the way that you'll work together as a team. Like I mentioned, I prefer asynchronous communication. That doesn't mean that there will not be video chats or maybe not a lot of them, depending on the project, but you're giving them a sense of how you prefer to work. If you don't mention that, they could easily think that you really like a lot of meetings, even though maybe it's getting in the way of your development. I think it's important to start out on the right foot of describing your preferences. I've even had a project manager write their own document of this. They really liked this and wrote their own document, basically describing similar points that I described here. So I got to know the project manager also. And I think so most project managers that I've shared this with have really liked it and have found it a good way to get to know me. And I don't think it came across as overbearing, like I'm dictating how we're going to communicate, but who knows? It, of course, there will be some flexibility needed from you. You're not just going to get your style of work, but I think it's a good way to start off a working relationship with a project manager and a team.